face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another video from yours, really, the Scarinder. So, yeah. Ultra Sun and Moon is on his way, and I really want to do a bit of a speculative video about the Mutators. Now, it has been confirmed, of course, about the Mutators going to be in the game. Now, I am in a bit of a theory that we're going to have the same moves in Generation 5 and 6 uh, as Tutors as this generation. Now, I can always hope they expand upon that, but as a whole, I'm really just going to cover those moves and, you know, speculate which Pokemon gets what moves. Uh, and we're gonna do actually a three-parter because I realized halfway through we're gonna kick in in about 40 minutes, so we are not gonna make this in one go. So three parts. First part, is, which will be in this one, is gonna cover the Alolan forms and the starters. The next one is gonna cover the regular Pokemon, and then the last gonna cover the legendaries and the Ultra Beast. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about the Alolan form first and see which or not which one becomes more viable possibly. And as I said before. These are just going to be theories and speculation. We have nothing confirmed. So, if a Pokemon expand upon his move pool even further, more power to them. So, yeah, with that said, let's start off with Alolan Raticate. Now, Alolan Raticate will probably not be a whole lot different from his counterpart already. One could assume that it will get the same moves as a regular Raticate. That will mean the elemental punches to, to a certain extent, and of course, superpower. Uh, one thing I really look forward to is whether or not it gets a last resort. Outside of that, I really want to see Iron Tail. I think it would be helping it quite a lot to get a like a headbutt, which is learned already as its uh, regular form. Uh, outside of that, you know, knockoff is going to be a thing that would be tremendous. To get it with, of course, Gunk Shot definitely help against the fair types. Outside of, of course, the Steel moves, but Gunk Shot I do believe are certainly better. But yeah, as a whole, it's going to stay fundamentally the same, I'm sure. But as a whole, I think it's going to be a very viable Pokemon, even as it is already. But the Seamus will help it a bit further. Now, Alolan Persian will be pretty much the same, uh, no doubt. I definitely believe it will get the same moves as his regular form, which means Ice Wind, Water Pulse, Shockwave, uh, Siege Bomb. All these moves are going to be a thing here. But it's not going to push the viability of the Pokemon itself. Though, I definitely appreciate that it gets a more varied, because it means it doesn't need to be a bulk attacker. It can actually just capitalize on being a possible special attacker even though it hasn't the highest special attack it has technician things will sting while this is going active and ice wind is a great supporting move this definitely should be stated and it could definitely push the viability of person to some extent but as a whole it will not change fundamentally too much but one pokemon i think will be very very good is alolan muck now, I'm going to say this over and over again, all Alolan forms most likely going to inherit their counterpart of the regular form, but Alolan Mug doesn't need to learn a whole lot more. Uh, Giga Rain, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch is really all it needs. If I could wish for something, I would definitely say that please let it get Rain Punch to be vastly superior to its regular form, as it already is superior, but getting Rain Punch would mean that it has means of recovery outside of Giga Rain, and that would have been tremendous. But outside of that, one would, thing that would be really nice would be Foul Play. If you want to play defensive game, you are able to get a stab Foul Play at least. And that could always be helpful to get it with the likes of Focus Punch. But yeah, as a whole, Alola Muck is going to be great. It is whether or not how great it gets and which moves it gets outside of that. But yeah, those are the moves standing out for me. Now, Alola Sandslash, it's going to be fundamentally the same. It's gonna get Stealth Rocks. It's going to be all it needs. Knockoff, nice, super fang. Yeah, it might not be the most versatile Pokemon, but the things it already learns makes it fairly well rounded as an Ice Steel type. The things it gets outside of this, yeah, it's only just gonna be a share on top. So just let on at it. Let on at it. And I feel much the same about a Lolan variant of Raichu. I don't think there is anything here it gets that would make it more viable, while I like the idea of a knockoff. Outside of that, I think Raichu is going to stay pretty much the same. Knockoff is going to be a, a pretty niche move to it, be a more defensive variant. But outside of that, Raichu is very complete already as it is. It just isn't necessarily that viable. But the things it learns it makes it good as it is. Now, the one we follow up here with is actually a Lowland Executor. Both a Lowland Executor and Marowak has a very big issue. That is that their base form are able to get Mewtwo removes, but their evolutions are not afterwards. 
which means exclusive moves executor um, will will not be able to get to the execute, so it will be able to get, gather those moves. Those moves are the likes of low kick, for example. Uh, but outside of that, I don't think fundamentally uh, Alolan Executor will get that many moves. While I could see it get Outrage, which I think could help with over Dragon Hammer, it's still it's very tough to say what Alolan Executor really will get. And due to its combination, I I could only speculate and. These speculations, these variants are hard to guess, so I won't go too, too much about it. All I can say is I hope knockoff, I hope dual shop it, please. That would be very weird, uh, and I really just want to see Iron Head, like something like that. But yeah, I'm more looking forward to see what it actually gets. Alolan Dugtree, on the other hand, I don't think it will get too many things. <laughs> I mean, this is the same thing though. There are only so many things it can learn. Stealth Rock is a thing. Uh, quite frankly, we're looking at Stealth Rock, we're looking at Endeavor, um, and I don't think it will get anything else outside of that. I would really appreciate if it did, though. I definitely, if it was pushing what the regular Dug Trio is, which is that while it has some negligibility, if a lowland Dug Trio had gunshot stuff like that to kind of expand upon it, I would very much appreciate that, but as a whole, there are only so many things I think a Lolan Dug Tree can get. For me, Stealth Rug is probably the only thing that's going to be relevant for it. Now, a Lolan Golem, though, don't think it will get too much either. <laughs> now, there are moves here. We have Super Power, we have Earth Power, which I definitely believe we'll get. It will be one of the most lackluster moves towards it. Uh, Magnet Rise is nice, Iron Defense. There are moves here, but as a whole, I think a Lolan. Um, Golem is complete as it is, but it has issues. The typing is not necessarily too good, and there are things that are holding it back. So with that said, I can only wish it gets really niche moves to be able to capitalize on it being weird. So please, Hyper Voice, I guess. But outside of that, Alolan Golem needs something else, and this is basically like give a quick attack and we're done. But Alolan Golem will not learn too many things that a regular Golem cannot learn already today. Now, Alola Merowick has the same thing going on as Alolan Executor, which means that its base form or lowest form are able to get C moves. So I really don't think Merowick could learn something more. I guess if I would be reaching, I would be. It would be nice if we can capitalize on foul play. And of course, the one thing I really want to see is actually Ice Punch. But I don't believe we're gonna see that. But at least I have that out of the way. I definitely believe it has its complete move pool already as it is. So the starters, the Sidioid is the guy we're going to start off with, and the Sidioid is the one I think is going to be the most interesting one, if anything. Now, one really has to remember it heritage after the Sidioid, the flying type. I really want to see things on the Sidioid. I think it would be extremely versatile on the things I speculate on, and just as a whole, I think it's going to be a cool Pokemon due to this. Uh, Tailwind, clearly is going to be a thing here. Ice Wind, yes, figure that out. I really want to see that. Ice Wind would be real nice. Heat Wave, awesome. That's also going to be a thing. I definitely believe we'll get that. Then when it comes to physical move pools and Pinch Split, Pinch Split I definitely believe it will get. It's a ghost type after all. I think it could cover that. Magic Coat will be helpful. I think it's going to be pressuring for that. Gunk Shot, Super Power, Sky Attack, yes. I think this CGI as a whole is going to be a very, very versatile tutor move user. While it's already viable today, it will be the option to be a lot more. And of course, with Nasty Blood in mind, it will be able to capitalize on a physical and special move pool that it never done before. The special move pool now being able to set up for real without Shadow Ball and Gear Rain. Yeah, it's going to be nice having Heat Wave. Being able to deal with the Steel types is going to be just great. I really hope that they actually do this and don't pass up just because it's a grass type to learn a fire move. I think it would benefit it quite a lot, and if they fail to do so, Ice Wind will be a decent coverage. And as a Pokemon stance, I think it definitely will get Ice Wind. But yeah, the CGI, please become as great as you can be. Now, Incineroar, on the other hand, is a Pokemon that I think could be called Incineroar. <laughs> no, but quite frankly, Incineroar as a whole is a concept Pokemon that fundamentally aren't working necessarily all that well today. I believe tutors will help it, uh, it's whether or not they will help it enough. Uh, Stealth Rug is a thing I can see it gets. It would be very nice if we got it. Uh, I definitely believe we could pull that off together with if it gets, of course, Intimidate this generation. Uh, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, please 
Ice Punch feels unlikely, but at least Fire Punch. Grain Punch would be nice to get with Knock Off. Knock Off is not a substitute for Darkest Lariat. I think it's worse, but I would be appreciative if he got it to get it with the likes of Sen Headbutt, for example. Uh, and Gunk Shot would be very nice. But as a whole, I mean, I can see Block be a thing here, but that's about it. I definitely would see um, it being more viable with these moves in mind. I believe in Low Kick would be something that it should be learning. But it probably won't change how well-rounded it is because it's still kind of unspeedy and it's holding the typing and the Pokemon back quite a lot. But if these moves come to contact with it, and most certainly Drain Punch will have some type of recovery, I would believe that it would be a lot stronger as a whole. Even Pain Split would be a certain very good move towards it, but that is reaching at best. But as a whole, Incineroar needs the, all the moves I mentioned, it is where not becomes better because of them, and I feel very unsure about that. Pre-Marine, on the other hand, I don't think can become much better than it is today. That is, the tutor moves here are um, not necessarily solving anything towards it. Now, I definitely see Heal Bell, and that would be nice in contrast to getting some type of recovery. But so that, it is Icy Wind is going to be a thing to get over the likes of Water Pulse, but I do believe it learns already. Uh, knockoff would be nice, though I find it unlikely. Uh, Iron Tails, is, it could be learning that, but as stated before already, it's unlikely and probably won't help it all that much. Foul Play and Earth Power would be really nice, though Earth Power feels unlikely. Foul Play could be a thing, but as a whole here, there aren't really that many moves it could get. Magic Hood could be kind of nice towards it to get over the likes of Spite. But it's already a very complete bulkier fairy water type, and I don't believe anything it gets here could make it better as it is already. Uh, that said, uh, it is unfortunate because I would like to see this Pokemon become even better than it is today. So that will cover part one, and this of course is the shortest episode. Um, the next one is going to be the lengthiest one, being all the regular form besides the starter. I really hope you guys enjoyed this idea, and I hope you get something out of this. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you for, of course, watching. If you have any other thoughts, be sure to, of course, share those. I'm really looking forward to, of course, reading them. This is a very interesting concept. And, you know, before the game comes out, this could be, as a whole, very interesting to follow up on. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and join us on part two, which comes out in a few days. Till then, take care.